Hey guys. I know already that uh some people gonna come in on the end of this, but y'all gonna watch it and y'all are going to share this shit. So I'm gonna wait for like a few more people to get on. And even if it's just one or two, because I wanna have a conversation. Tonight's topic as I'm getting ready is called scamming. What that does to the mental ability of somebody and how it can hurt you. So we'll wait for somebody to queue in and when they queue in, then we'll talk about it. Got it? Sorry about that. A friend of mine, my little sis, Tasty, was, hey Bonnie Lee, what's going on? The topic today is scamming. Have you ever been scammed and how did it make you feel? Let's talk. Because I recently have been scammed a few times. Well, I've been scammed a couple of times throughout my life, but recently it's fucked with me a little bit harder than most. Hey, mini me, how are you doing? What's going on? Topic of the day is about niggas scamming. How people gotta lie in order to get to the top. And how people have to go and use other people in order to get where the fuck they need to go to. I feel like you don't need to do that shit. How do y'all feel? I feel like there's too many people out here lying about their placements in the world in order to get other people to feed into their shit. So, let's see how we can move forward with this because there's a few people out there that think that you should lie to people in order to get where you need to go. Giving them false hope of prepaid management and they really don't manage nobody telling people that they got places to go and things to do. What's up? I think that when it comes down to people crossing people, everybody crosses somebody. So I don't think that you should have to go and lie to somebody in order on to get to where you need to go. So I have people that are not close to me talking shit. And it's more of saying, hey, I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. Being dealt with depends on the person being dealt with. But let's say most of the people that I'm knowing, that I know are all artists. And they think that they are getting managed by people and there's no management. It's just people sucking their money. Or, it's alright, no problem. They're sucking their money. Or, it's people saying that they have places and venues, places, and they really don't have it. They have to depend on other people to give their money for it. And there's no guarantee that they're going to be able to do it anyway. So, how do y'all feel about that? How would y'all deal with if y'all go to work for somebody and then y'all realize that person ain't shit? How would you, how would you come back from that? Because I really want to know. But let's see. How do you come back from people fucking you over? Do you go back out and fire with fire? Or do you... Say, hey, I'm not going to fuck with that no more. And I'm just going to charge that to the game. Because I got, see, you, you see my you see my size? I got my wolf, my bad wolf, and I got my light wolf. And I feel like people should be dealt with accordingly. If you play me, let me fuck you. Yet, I'm trying to grow. So, one golden. CJ Freebeats, how you doing? Welcome to my, uh venting blog I guess you can say as I'm getting ready for my day of going to work um how would you feel if you signed up to a job thinking one thing and then come to find out that that job really is nothing at all or you feel unappreciated you busting your ass for work and you're not seeing the fruits of your labor so to speak You know what I have to say? I feel like everybody is out. I can't say everybody. I think that you should be able to handle business 
the right way. There's a right way and a wrong way to handle business. I think that all parties involved should have a say. And it's the get down, lay down rule. Be honest. Be honest about what you're about, your full intent, and don't try to fuck nobody over. That's how I feel. I feel like honesty is the best policy. I don't, I've never gotten why you have to cross somebody in order to get where you, where you want to go to. It makes no sense. I think that everybody is striving to be somebody and take care of everything and to take advantage of people who are just trying to distance yourself and keep it moving. Life's too short. No cap, niggas. Stop playing with the wrong people. <laughs> Stay positive. Good for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see that guy's probably for a lot. I just think that there's too many artists that are out there, real or not, if it's with art, as in with a brush and drawing, or as I can say, with the fact of, of those people that fuck you over, you gotta just cut them off completely. That would hurt more in the long run. Being angry and seeking revenge takes too much effort away from them. Reaching your goals. I understand that. I get it. I got you. Same thing, though. What if you were counting on this check to take care of your family? Let me cross you. How do you feel about that? How would you feel if you were counting on... How would you feel if you connected your friends with people believing in a dream because you're just an honest person? I have no choice but to let it go because I'm on this whole positive kick. Yet, sometimes I think that others, I want to know what others think about a situation. How do you feel? It's all good and... Honest and loyalty is hard to come by nowadays. Just the times we live in, surround yourself with positive people, let God handle them other suckers. <laughs> yeah. Good advice. I give good advice too. I tell people that. Okay. This is my way of people that know certain situations and know that I'm honest and I don't like to cross people. I think that there's a way to handle business. And if you want somebody to be honest with you and not cut a chase and just give it straight raw, hit me up. I'm going to give it to you. Like we was on our lives telling people all the constructive criticism that we have and stuff like that. Always. Yet, y'all got to be careful out here because people with good hearts get screwed over a lot. And I feel like I am the type of person that I want to expose. Never rely on others. Hey, Miss Honeycomb. Thanks for joining. Hi, y'all. Exactly. I get that. Do what you have to do for you and yours. Got it. So, and people seek out that. People use that shit to their advantage when you're trying to do better for yourself and yours. So, Miss Honeycomb, we're dealing on scammers. Like, y'all got to be careful. Like, there's people out there that use their family and stuff out there to help themselves scam. Like, like to all the artists that is out there, hey, Shots May, baby. We're just talking about scammers. And for all the artists that are out there trying to get their, uh, their music heard with all these prepaid management people that are out there that are saying that they can offer this and they can offer that. Make sure that their shit speaks for themselves. Make sure that if you want to go to somewhere and just get your name out there, then find it. Use the name. Whatever you have to. But make sure that you're investing yourself into something that you benefit from and they're not taking advantage of you. 
Make sure that when people tell you that they can do something, that they have shown and proved that they can do that. And it's recent things that they've done, not shit that they've done back in the day. Something that I'm dealing with. Oh, because I'm pretty...